If you have to enter a dimension beyond the physical, a perception beyond the five senses have to be opened up. These five sense organs open up in you. The moment you crawl out of your mother's womb, five senses open up because they're needed for survival. If you did not have them, you would not know how to survive. Survival process opens up for you naturally. Suppose as a little infant you were lost in the jungle. If something edible came in front of you, would you take it and shove it into your ears or into your nostrils? You would definitely know where to put it, isn't it? Nobody taught you. Nobody need to instruct you, this is the way to eat, but it will go right here, isn't it so? So things that are necessary for your survival, it does not need any training, it does not need any striving from your end. It's inbuilt. But would you know how to read, how to write, how to do so many things that you're naturally doing today? No, because all these things need striving. You know the dam A, do you remember the dam A, those three lines? When you are three and a half years of age, they try to make you write it, the dam A, how complicated it looked. <laughs> yes or no? Even now, there's an adult who never tha was taught how to read and write in some village. You try to teach him the damn yay, how he struggles even today as a grown-up adult. Because anything beyond survival will not enter your life unless you strive for it. But what is needed for survival opens up without any striving. So, if a dimension beyond the physical has to enter your living experience, a little striving is needed. But because it's in a completely different direction, all your sense organs are outward bound. Please see this. You can see what's around you. You can't roll your eyeballs inward and scan yourself. You can hear that. So much activity in this body. Can you hear that? No? Even if an ant crawls upon this hand, you can feel it. So much blood flowing. Can you feel it? In the very nature of things, sense organs are outward bound. But everything that you experience happens within you. Right now, a simple question. Do all of you see me at least? Am I visible to you? Because sometimes I'm invisible, you know. <laughs> Today am I visible? Today am I visible? Please use your hands and show me where am I? Oh, you got it totally wrong. You know I'm a mystic. <laughs> now, this light is falling upon me, reflecting, going through your lenses, inverted image in the retina. Don't you know the whole story? So where do, where do you see me? Where am I right now? Within you. Where do you hear me? Within you. Where have you seen the whole world? Within you, isn't it? Have you ever experienced anything outside of you? Have you? Have you? Right now, you just touch your friend and see, you don't feel his hand. You will only feel the way your sensations are. You cannot experience his hand, please know this. You can only know the way your sensations are. You have never experienced anything beyond this. Everything that's happened to you, your joy and misery has happened within you, light and darkness has happened within you, just everything happens within you. But do you have a means to look inward? No, right now. So that will not happen unless you strive. It happened one day, someone came looking for Isha Yoga Center in South India, Chunya Bible village. They came and asked a local boy, how far is Isha Yoga Center? The boy said, it's twenty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-six miles. What, that far? He said, yes, the way you're going, if you turn around it's four miles. <laughs> so right now, everything that you have is outward bound, but everything that's happening is happening within. So it gives you a completely false perception of what it is. So turning within will take a little bit of striving. If you're willing to give twenty-eight hours of focused time, we can turn you around.